Welcome to the cuff fitting guide for the Hylotherm knee cuff. Um, so today I'm just going to show you some um, hints on how to fit the knee cuff and also some tips around using it. So um, first of all, if you haven't already watched the user video for the HDP1 or for the clinic device, please do go and watch that. Um, this video is designed for either patients using the knee cuff at home um, or those working in hospitals, medical professionals who are fitting the knee cuff to their patients. Um, so the first thing you want to do is before you've started the water flow, you can feel that one side is smoother than the other. Um, so you want to have the smooth side going down towards the patient. Um, so you can fit the knee cuff directly onto skin, but we would recommend that this is only when the skin is unbroken. Um, so uh, otherwise we would uh, need to have some kind of a barrier between the skin and the hylotherm cuff. So something like a uh, dressing or bandaging. Um, in this instance, I'm going to be applying over clothing, which is absolutely fine to do. So the temperature, recommended temperature for the knee cuff is between 15 and 18 degrees. So with 15 being the lower of those temperatures, the colder of those temperatures. You may want to go slightly lower if you are trying to permeate through um, bandaging or clothing, um, and you could take this down as low as 12 degrees. It's worth bearing in mind um, that um, the lower you take the temperature, there is more possibility of starting to get condensation on both the cuff and the tubing. So um, if you do um, take the temperature down as low as it will go, you may start to get some moisture on the cuff or the tubing, um, and that will be just due to the difference in temperature between the cuff and the patient or the environment. So if that happens, then just increase the temperature very slightly. It's worth bearing in mind that Tylotherm is not an ice-based treatment. It isn't trying to replicate um, ice-based treatments. So it's about controlling the temperature and applying that for long periods of time. You can use Hylotherm safely for 24 hours a day if you wish to. So um, please do use that temperature range and find a temperature um, that either you or the patient um, are comfortable using it for long periods of time. So I'm going to start the water flow and for this demonstration I'm using one of the HTP1 devices. Um, so it's very, very important that I um, activate power mode. So to do that you hold the start button for at least three seconds. And that will activate the power mode. Um, if you activate it in eco mode, there won't be sufficient water traveling through the cuff. So you will feel that it's not very inflated um, and it also won't be able to cool properly because the water won't be traveling fast enough round. So if you are using an HTP1 device, please do make sure that you've held the start button for at least three seconds to activate the power mode. If you're in hospital and using one of our larger clinic devices, don't worry about that step because there is only one power setting for that. So for the knee cuff itself, you want to make sure that the central section goes over the kneecap. Um, you have long uh, Hylofix straps, which are Velcro straps. And the key with these is making sure that you are not attaching them too tightly. So you just want to wrap it round to hold it in place. So one is going above the kneecap and one is going below the kneecap. Okay, so just make sure there's no kinks and just apply that strapping. It doesn't need to be too tight. That really is the key. Just make sure that it's not too tight. Um, I always recommend checking that the water is circulating all the way around. You can do that by pressing here on both sides of the blue tubing, just on the cuff near the blue tubing, to check that the cuff feels inflated on both sides of the blue tubing. So that is one of the key things, just making sure that these straps are not fitted too tightly, just enough to hold it in place. So hopefully um, that, that uh, shows you how to fit the knee cuff uh, safely. So um, please do refer to our troubleshooting video if you have any queries at this time. Thank you.